In this video, we will be focusing on simple distillation. Distillation can be used to obtain pure solvent from a solution of a solute. For example, let's say we have salt solution. So solution is formed by adding salt into water. So the solute is the solid that is dissolved in the water. And the water that dissolves this solid is called solvent. So now in order to obtain the pure solvent, which is water, from the solution of a solute, which is a salt water, we will use this method called simple distillation. Now a setup of simple distillation of salt water is shown in this diagram. So we have the salt solution in this flask, which we call the distillation flask. We have the boiling chips in the distillation flask, and we have the thermometer at the top of the distillation flask. Here we have the condenser, and we place a conical flask here to collect the pure solvent, which we call the distillate. So in the simple distillation, we allow boiling to occur. We heat up and boil the salt solution. Now the purpose of the boiling chips are to ensure smooth boiling. So the solvent, which is water, will vaporize, rises and enters the condenser. Now take note, we have a thermometer here. It's placed at the top of the flask and its purpose is to measure the temperature of the pure solvent going into the condenser. And in this case, since we are collecting pure water, the thermometer should be showing a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Now do take note that the bulb of the thermometer should be placed beside the side arm of the distillation flask. This is to ensure that the thermometer is measuring the boiling point of the pure solvent and nothing else. Now do take note that it should not be deep into the solution. If this thermometer is deep into the solution, then it is actually measuring the temperature of the mixture and hence the temperature will not be showing 100 degrees Celsius but it will be showing a temperature higher than the temperature of the pure solvent because you are measuring the boiling point of the mixture. The purpose of a thermometer is really to measure the temperature of the vapor of this pure solvent to ensure that we are indeed collecting the correct pure solvent. So now the vapor will actually flow into the condenser and in the condenser, the temperature is actually much lower so the water vapor will cool down and it condenses back into liquid, in this case the pure water. Now this pure water is collected as a distillate in the receiver. We can use a conical flask or a beaker to collect this distillate. Now take note, if the distillate is volatile, meaning it evaporates very easily, then the receiver can be placed in a large container filled with ice. The purpose is to ensure that the temperature of the distillate is low so that it remains as liquid. Now back to this condenser. Now for condenser, do take note that the condenser should be sloping downwards to ensure that the pure solvent is able to run downwards into the receiver. So you realize that the condenser has two tubes. Water will go in from the tube at the bottom while water will flow out from the top of the condenser. Now this flow will ensure that the whole condenser is filled up with cold water. This provides a more efficient cooling system and ensures that the vapor is thoroughly condensed. So at the end of this experiment, the salt, which cannot be distilled, will remain in the flask. Now there's another type of distillation, which we call the fractional distillation. Fractional distillation and simple distillation are actually different. We will be going through fractional distillation in the upcoming video. Do stay tuned and learn more about fractional distillation in the next video. If you find this video useful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share the videos with your friends. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.